This is another do-it-yourself video on how to repair a trailer jack that is uh, very stiff when you turn it. There's a lot of friction when you turn it. So after trying the thing that usual people, the thing that most people do is they'll spray some lubricant around the top and it does not penetrate very well. And some jacks have a grease fitting, but if they don't, you're pretty much stuck. You have to take it apart to fix it. It's not that complicated, but there are a couple of little tips I'll give you. So for one thing, it really helps to have a vise just so that you can have your hands free. And here you're going to take a bolt out of the top. So I already got the nut off it. It was just a small bolt. And this comes off. And then once that comes off, once that comes off, you're now looking at the center shaft. And that shaft has to go down through that hole. Now, this jack is old, and since it's been turned around by that bolt for years, that hole has worn and it caused the shaft not to be completely round. And so when I first took this apart a few minutes ago, it would not slide down that hole. So what I had to do is take this file and just file the spots around that shaft on both sides to make it round. And now it drops through that hole. And back it up a bit. So drops out that hole. So now what you're faced with is this, and I'm sure you could imagine before taking it apart that it would be a big threaded rod. And what happens is this rod gets corroded and this nut that it screws in right here also gets corroded and the lubrication just either goes away or, or wears out or whatever. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is heavily grease this and then it will spin nicely inside of that nut. And you don't need to take this shaft out, but unscrew it as much as you can. And the other interesting thing is this particular one has a reverse thread. It's not like a bolt that has kind of a clockwise thread to tighten it. This one actually is the reverse of that. So keep that in mind when you're trying to back it out. Okay. So this is just a regular automotive grease. I mean, if you could get fancy and put waterproof grease on it if you really wanted to. This thing does stay out in the elements, so that's probably a good idea, but I don't have that, so any grease on this thing is better than no grease, which is what it had before we started. Nothing. So liberally coat those, coat those threads. That's really quite well coated. A little bit up near the top. The other thing you want to do too is make sure all the washers at the top of this shaft are really well greased as well because they actually spin. When you're cranking the handle, these things spin on the top of the shaft. And if they're not lubricated, it just makes it really hard to turn this thing. Okay, so that's pretty heavily Wow, that's ready to go. Now, the other thing I'm going to point out to you, this shaft here, uh, yes, it does corrode, and if that's really corroded, it could cause some friction, but typically these are loose in the, like, this shaft inside of this shaft. This side is generally pretty loose, so I'm not overly concerned with that. I will put a, well, maybe I'll clean the guck off it and put some grease in the whole thing. That's what I'll do, I guess. I just sprayed some gunk degreaser on there. Take this bad boy off. So there was grease on this outer part, but it, uh, it was mixed with dirt, grit, sand and stuff. So that'll be, you know, mostly clean there now. And I really don't believe that was causing much of a problem before anyway. Okay, so now I've got that thing cleaned off. We'll put some new grease on it. Now some jacks have a grease fitting. I don't know how well that'll work. 
probably great, but this jet doesn't have three spinning. Okay, so I got some grease on that guy. Um, you'd want to focus the grease up near the top of the shaft because most of the time this part of the shaft would be sticking out and there wouldn't be much friction there anyway. Okay, so now comes the tricky part. Do this. Now comes the tricky part. So we're sticking this up here and we've got to get the top of that shaft right there through that hole. Stick it up here, and the other thing to keep in mind is there's a groove in this shaft and a dimple in that shaft, and they need to line up. Okay, so make sure you pay attention to that. And it's going to take a little bit of fiddling, I think, to get that center shaft through the hole. So, what I do. Put it up here so that there's the top shaft is pushing down on that threaded rod. And I use a screwdriver to just gently push up on that threaded rod and manipulate it into the center of this outer shaft. Ta-da! Now that's through there. So, you can put this back in your vise just temporarily. Let's put this handle back on. Do this. Thread that nut back on there. And there you have it. It's as easy to turn as can be. And the jack has been reinstalled on the front of a cargo trailer. And you can see that it's a pretty easy job. I'll even show off a little bit with the one finger and show you how this jack is, and this is cranking up, and of course there's down. So lubed properly, even under load. That's how it should be. There you go. Good luck with your do-it-yourself project.